Hasten skill recovery, baby! Yeah! Alright, we finally got that. While we're at it, let's strengthen our current leggings. Actually, no, no. No. Let's get a different one. Um... Yeah, let's do that. I like that idea. Come to think of it, why didn't I go for that earlier? Reducing the MP usage would be very helpful, but now I don't have enough for it. Oh well. In we go. Sort of looks like a language on the edges of that, uh, doorway. Why are you even surprised anymore, Unisha? Dimos? Dipictmos? Was that the name? Well, in any case, we're dealing with a, with a novelty this time, aren't we, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, we can just hit it- we can hit it just by attacking it, apparently. So that's a good change of pace, isn't it? Oh, crap! Well, okay, our attack hit it, at least. This isn't so bad! Just gotta dodge all of the giant lasers that are shooting down at us. Well, well the difficult part here is, is, you know, of course, that we gotta not stand still for too long. Okay, okay, it, it has lances now. It must be angry about what we've been doing to its tribesmen. Because apparently they've learned they live in, like, clans. Well, I mean, a clan isn't quite a tribe, exactly. A clan is like a family. But, y you know... They're both, um, uh, uh, tribal, you know, they're both human societal structures. Perhaps when they talk about these guys being in clans, they mean it in a very sort of biological way. Like, you know how, um, in, uh, uh, in biology, species are divided up into families and orders and groups and all that? Well, maybe they're a clan sort of in that sense. Could be. It's possible. I'd say it's even plausible, and it makes me feel better about this whole thing. Okay, now it's they're on fire in addition to being lances. Eh. Yeah, this is a lot more intimidating than the sandworm, but... Oh. Missed it, missed, missed it on that one. It's a lot more intimidating than the sandworm, and I, I personally think much more interesting. This is a pretty original monster, honestly. But, uh, it's not, not, not as, a uh, same level of difficulty. Wait, did it, its attacks neutralize my attack? I think that might have been a thing that happened. Oh, and it shoots out these guys. That's great. That's not what I wanted to have happen today. But fortunately, most of them are dead now. Yeah, I'm, this really isn't any trouble at all. And, I mean, I'm not exactly cheating or anything, you know? I mean, I'm just following the, the, something that I've been given the ability to do. I, I mean... I think this is reasonable enough, what I, my performance here. I think I'm really nailing this one, honestly. Okay, it hit me with that attack. Or, I think it did. It's also fast-paced, I'm not even sure sometimes. Are they, like, healing it somehow? I don't think so. That's That'd be the only concern here. But what else are they even doing? Why are they there? They're not, like, attacking me. Okay, a few of them are. This guy is awe-inspiring. This is the sort of monster I feel bad about hurting. I mean, he's clearly, you know... Perhaps he's just defending... Defending his swath of the tower. The praying mantis demons who happen to live in a place called the Blighted Blood. Okay, that one hit me too. But there's no way they're gonna win unless they have some absolutely absurd finishing attack. Which I'm inclined to expect is not something that will happen. That's just my, my, just my what I expect is going to not happen anyway. Okay, they did a lot of damage on me with that, that last bit. But, uh, well, 
Okay, he's reduced to only hopping. Sort of set. What? Okay. There's the trick to it. It's like re revives itself using the uh, offspring. So it's very important that I, you know, take them out. If it generates any more, please don't let it did. Okay. Okay, so there is a trick to it. There is something to this I didn't realize. I need to take out all of the uh, other ones before I, you know, try to, um, uh... I think I took most of them out, at least. I think that was most of them. Was it? Was it most of them? I'm not sure. Oh, there's still a few. Alright! Alright! Oh, look! Okay, okay. I'm getting to hurt now. It did pull off a finisher. A game changer I did not see coming. So, I gotta give it that. I gotta give it that. It's a, there, there, there's been a twist. A twist that honestly I did not expect, like, whatsoever. It's revived so little, it doesn't matter! It doesn't matter! Bring it on, you... Okay. Okay! We're both in our last legs! No! Alright. Well, I know what to expect this time. Know what to expect this time. We... we this is nothing compared to the sandworm. Nothing. It's not even... It's not even a reasonable comparison. It's honestly... It's unfair. Still, this guy's a jerk if it's prepared to just eat the, you know, younger ones or suck up their spirits or whatever it did to heal itself. Although, actually, actually, I, I gotta grant that that is the kind of thing I'd expect from a demon. And now it shoots out its laser attacks for the first time. Well, so is that shell? It has markings on that shell. Is that shell, like, armor it's wearing? Or is that just, like, its shell as an insect? I don't know. Oh, apparently there were flames coming out of the lances the first time, too, and I just missed that detail. Whoops. Nobody's perfect, after all. Okay, apparently it's trying to, like, it tries to hit us with the, uh, powers of stone things it shoots out. I hadn't realized that. Yeah, I can't hold down all of the run and jump and charge buttons at once. I can, I... Okay. 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 I feel like I'm not doing as well this time. That's fine. It's fine. I I'm not worried. It'll... We'll, we'll win. It'll be... We'll, we're good. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Because this is, in the purposes of the story, still the one time that Unisha battles it. And she wins, of course, because that's how the story goes. Because... I mean, not because the good guys always win, but because here, that's how it works. What are these laser things? Are they, like, man- smaller praying mantis demons that, like, fly and live very briefly? They're- I don't know. M maybe we were able to see them, but I I'm not able to look at them right now. I'm kind of- kind of focused. I wish I could come up with some snappy one-liners. You know but I don't know any any good ones. I mean, I could give a whole speech about... I mean, Unisha could have given a speech about how MEN DID PREPARE TO BE DESTROYED! But that, that would be very out of character. She also does not sound like that. I mean, I don't really know what she sounds like, but it sure ain't like that. Okay, and so here's one of the uh, young ones come out for the first time. Not gonna fall for its dirty tricks this time, neither. I know better now. We're gonna wait to uh, attack them until we're a little lower down on their health because I'm pretty sure it can just regrow them later very, uh, you know, easily. Yeah, there's still a lot of them, man. Alright, alright, just run, just run, just get out of the way! When we did it, we guess we gotta keep going. We gotta, just, you never give up. So, does, are those things on the front that look kind of like headlights, are those its eyes? I mean, maybe it's, it's, they're like definitely and obviously its eyes, and I just didn't realize that, but I'm pretty sure those are its eyes. I am pretty sure, anyway, about that. I'm damaging it too much without damaging the little ones. 
That's my problem. Oh well. I'm dead. Yeah, your problem is I'm doing too much damage to the boss. All right. Come on, attack me, you little, you little runts. I ain't afraid of use. I'm afraid of the of, of your boss here. He's, he's a guy I'm kind of afraid of, honestly. Grow and more. Quit it. Quit it. Okay. I should not be in front of it. Of all the spots that I can be in in this battle, in front of this thing is definitely not the spot I want to be in. Now, I should have taken out more of them. Ah, darn it. Ah, jeez. How do you get the- do they just come out occasionally? Or do they, like, come out to attack me sometimes? Or is it only when it's using the laser thing? I think it's only when it uses the laser attack that the uh, small mantids come out. I get into calling them mantids now, huh? All right, all right, guys, come on! You want to come out, get me? Come on, get me! Please, I welcome it. That eh, attack didn't hit me. That attack hit it though, and the small ones. All right, I, I took some damage there. I think it was worth it. I think it'll be worth it because it won't have that much health when I take it out in a second here. Oh god, it still has health, dude. That's impressive. It's impressive stuff. And now, gotta keep charging our attack because it's just about to. Yeah, it's back. Now I just need to take it out real quick, quick light. Just gotta be relentless here, and that's what I gotta do is relentlessness. That's the name of the game. Being relentless. It's called the Being Relentless game. It's a pretty boring game, honestly. Okay. This time, I gotta really take them out. I, 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 like, I can't mess around here. If I don't manage to take out the little ones, this is just never gonna end. Alright, took out the little ones! Except maybe like one? No, except two. That's fine because it's not going to have very much health when it uh, comes back now. And I will be able to take it out before it has the chance to grow more little ones. Or to do whatever it's doing to produce them. No, 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 no. Damn it! Well, okay, so this is trickier than I thought. It's still no sandworm though. Because for one thing, it's still a little bit fun. A little bit, at least a little bit fun. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, we did it. A spectacular demon. It was something of an honor to fight it, honestly. Thus concluded the conquest of the praying mantis people of the Blighted Blood. I tell you though, if all the Holy Knights were here, that would have just taken like, like just a minute, and we would have been through. Unfortunately, they had to recuperate. I mean, I would like if they could help just once with one of these big battles, but... Demonic Core? Is that techno music? Or synth? I don't know my genres that well, but... I think... I think we're near the top of the tower. The crystal's power purified the demon statue. How much EXP or whatever did we get from that guy? I don't know, because I don't know how much we had before the battle, but I'm gonna guess it was a good amount. Wait, did I save? I mean, probably saved like 10 times, but okay. Now I definitely saved. Ah. Uh-oh. Suddenly, a voice could be heard echoing forth from the Leela shell.
there is a real life East, or not. Rather, there is a real legend about it, dating back uh, hundreds of years, in fact. Unlike the atmospheric East in these video games, though, the real story of East has the city being swallowed into the sea as punishment for all sorts of immorality and sins, a kind of Sodom and Gomorrah deal. The legend is French, which is presumably why the opening of East Origin is in French. Well, uh, we have some time here, since this was a pretty short installment. Uh, East is an important and very old JRPG series. The first one came out in 1987, but it never rose to the same international notoriety as Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest. East Origin takes place, I believe, 700 years before East 1, and is the first game of the series not to star the typical protagonist, Adol, or Adol. I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. Apparently, East Origin is bursting with references to the other games in the series that I, of course, didn't recognize when I played it. An interesting bit of trivia about the East series. In the 1990s, there was a video game company called Quintet, noted for their so-called Soul Blazer series on the Super Famicom. These games are well known for their unusually religious and philosophical themes, and, in my opinion, they also have very pretty graphics. Though not particularly successful in their day, Quintet's series without a name has since garnered a cult following, deservedly or not, with Terranigma becoming something of a legend. Actually, I have a Let's Play of Quintet's debut release, ActRaiser, down the pipeline. ActRaiser was one of the more popular titles in this series, I'm given to understand being one of the most interesting games available for the Super Nintendo's American launch. Key players at Quintet included Tomoyoshi Miyazaki and Masaya Hashimoto, the creators of East 1 and 2. They left Nihon Falcom during the development of East 3 to form Quintet. After the 16-bit era, Quintet's key players released one last game, the Ganstream Saga. This one even had full anime cutscenes. Uh, according to Hardcore Gaming 101, the Ganstream Saga topped sales charts in Japan, temporarily booting Final Fantasy VII from the spot. For reasons of which nobody seems to be quite certain, Quintet faded away after this. Tomoyoshi Miyazaki and Masaya Hashimoto don't seem to have worked on any other games afterwards. East Origin is not a product courtesy of Miyazaki or Hashimoto, of course. Nihon Falcom has continued to produce further titles in the East series without them, and for that matter has ported East 1 and 2 to just about every system you can think of. And probably a few that you can't. Based on Miyazaki and Hashimoto's creative chops, I'd assume that the original East may have a somewhat more ambitious story than East Origin, at least given its vintage. I can say that it involves a young man named Adol who gathers the books of East to combat some kind of evil force threatening the world. East 1 is probably most famous for the battle system. Adol fights enemies by ramming into them and the player must be careful to hit them from advantageous angles, lest Adol be hurt too. Obviously, East Origin plays a bit differently. East 1 is actually so closely tied to East 2 that they've often just been released together as one game, as is the case for the release on Steam, which is, I think, a port of the PSP release of the game, East 1 and 2 Chronicles. I actually have these uh, in my library, Maybe I'll uh, play them somewhere down the line.